So this is a teaser plant that I've grown from seed. I've got a few more that I've just put into buckets. But I'm going to dig this one out of here. <clears throat> because I'm trying to free this bed up for probably melons or beans or peas. So just digging this out. So I've put that teaser <clears throat> into a pot because I wasn't sure where to put it. I mean, once this area is tidied, I'm going to put all the teasers along this fence for the birds. But it's in a pot there for the time being. Good afternoon, everybody. It's Monday afternoon, <clears throat> the 11th of March. And I've come out to <clears throat> pot on some seedlings that I planted on the 18th of February. Now these are, oh, as you can see, they're getting a bit droopy. These are my cucumber ladiva, the big long ones, which have now started their second set of leaves, but they're getting a bit leggy because I've left them too long. So I'm going to pop them on. There's also in here some, lost the label, where's the label gone? <clears throat> So the Ladiva, there's also some Red King peppers, uh, some chili Hungarian hot wax, which are these here. And then this end one is the Golden California peppers. So I'm going to pot them into maybe individual pots, but I'm, not, but I'm going to use these so I'd probably get two in each one except for the cucumbers I'm going to put them individually <clears throat> right so that's what I'm going to do I've now got to sieve some compost because it's all a bit too claggy so yeah so that's the next thing and I'm also going to plant my one peanut seed that I have left. Um, I haven't checked the rest, but they are. Yeah, I've got one intact, so I'm going to plant that one. There we go. label for it but I will have it in the back. What I'll do is I'll try this off. And that will go indoors in a plastic bag which I'll show you later. So these are my Musselboro leeks. I need the container, so they look all right. <clears throat> so I'm gonna plant them into this bed. Leeks planted, but not very well. I've just gotta water them now. I think they might be a bit too young, but never mind. Ooh, look, another change round in the polytunnel. I've had a bit of an epiphany moment. Oh, I've been clearing the beds slowly. I, I've emptied this end one <clears throat> and I've built 
like a staging area over the top and then I thought oh dear what can I plant in there that is not going to be affected by the staging area so I looked up potatoes like can you grow potatoes in a polytunnel yes you can apparently so I'm going to put my Pentland Javelin and which are a first early um, and I've also which are here sorry and I've also got some Desiree and some Charlotte I can't remember which of those are also first early so I'm going to look that up before I plant them and then they're all going in this bed so it's spent soil that's come out of most of this bed and once I've put them in I shall cover them with this um, so yeah so that's where my potatoes are going to go or some of them at least so once I've put them in I'll come back and show you so those are the Pentland Javelin and I've got seven so they should be okay there so I'm just going to cover them over and I'll come back to <coughs> once I've done the rest okay. here we go Pentland Javelin that end Charlotte this end so I'm now going to cover them over so all done <coughs> Charlotte in and Pentland Javelin and as soon as they start poking through I will top them up with soil out of this bed right okay thanks for watching guys um and thank you to all my new subscribers um hope you have a great rest of the week and i'll catch you on the next video bye for now